Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. A couple things have happened. Uh, when I was in California on the last video, you can find a link down below, I uh, slipped on a slimy rock, came down on my phone, and broke it. So I've been out of a phone for about two weeks. Got a new one. One of the reasons I'm filming this now is to test my new camera. Hope it all works out all right. The other reason is I've got a scale. Y'all might recognize these three nuggets from January. I'm gonna weigh those out, see uh, see what they're at. Unfortunately, after my camera bit the dust on my phone, I did have some luck elsewhere. These all came from one little uh, canyon. I've been doing pretty dang well, and uh, I'm gonna head back there for a few days. That this again has only been stuff I've been able to find in the evenings for an hour or two after work for the most part. I'm curious to what it weighs. So we're going to try out the new scale. And uh, yeah, hopefully the next video I'll be able to get out and we can dig some gold. The reason I'm not out right now is I'm under quarantine because I have caught COVID. But quarantine's only for a few more days. I'm feeling well. And yeah, we're going to move on and see what these weigh. We're going to start in order this is the first one I found. Oh, I guess I better cut this thing on. All right, so zeroed out. Almost two tenths of a gram. Yeah, that's cool. It's pretty good. I think that's the smallest of the three. Um, Let's see. That one, six tenths of a gram. And the big one, oh yeah, almost two grams on that one. So, this is gold that I found in the Prescott area back in January. All told, 2.63 grams. Well, I am happy with that. That's not bad for three decent nuggets with the Equinox. Now let's see what we got here. This again is over several trips, but... I found gold every time. Uh, the first trip out, I found six pieces, uh, and uh, yeah, I just kept finding stuff back. We'll try the bigger pieces first. This was the first piece I found on the canyon. I was hooting and hollering when that came out of the ground. Um, six tenths, so 0.64 grams. Okay. That's the uh, last piece I found, 0.8. Um, Just at half a gram. I'm going to try all the finer stuff here. Let's see if I can not send it bouncing. I'm going to set the phone down real quick. Yeah, COVID, uh, COVID's nothing to mess around with. I am vaccinated. I'm not going to get into that one way or the other. But, uh, yeah, even with the vaccine, it kicked my butt for a couple days. I was uh, basically on the on the bed for two days straight. All right, so 0.8 grams for all the fines. There's some chunkier pieces in there. And uh, yeah, I'm also curious to what the smallest one was. Um, little pinhead sized piece of gold picked up by the Knox. Um, well, I'm trying not to send this stuff flying. I don't know how hard it is to find, so here's the smallest piece. As you can tell, it's not even registering. I mean, that's that's a tiny, tiny little fleck of gold. But uh, yeah, let's get a full way out here. Because I want to know how much has been found up that canyon. And then I'd like to know what I've found since the start of the year. And I'm hoping to share that with everybody. So, let's see, get everything on the scale. All right, so in the course of about a week, hunting mainly evenings, I found 2.88 grams at that one canyon. I will be going back for probably a five or six day straight hunt um, here in a bit. That should be the next video coming up. And then we're going to add those up. All right, five and a half grams dead on. Yeah, we like that. Price of gold is high. Um... 
that's another thing that's going on out in the world today but we will keep the uh keep searching especially with all that gold yeah i'm loving it well guys uh thanks for watching and next time hopefully we'll get out and do some hunting